guys, so recently I was tagged in the all time low book tag that was originally created by Tasha at Cats and Paperbacks and if you know me, I love all time low. I have been such a big fan of all time low for years and years and years since like middle school and their new album just came out and so I've been like kind of obsessing over it so I'm really excited to do this book tag. The first question is that girl, a female character a lot of people don't like but that you love. So on Tumblr a lot of people really don't like this book and they really don't like this character and I'm going to go with Juliette Ferrars from Ignite Me from the entire Shatter Me series which is getting more books next year and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love Juliet so much. <laughs> she has like the coolest powers and I just love her entire like story and she's just so badass and cool and I could like totally relate to her on so many different levels and I just I love Juliet so much but a lot of people really don't like her especially on Tumblr and I'm just like okay whatever. <laughs> I really like her. <laughs> Definitely Juliet and I think also Warner as well. I love Warner. <laughs> I'm like kind of like I really like Warner but like people on Tumblr just do not like Warner or Juliet or Shatter Me at all but for the most part the like discourse I see on Tumblr is people don't like Shatter Me so. The second question is bad enough for you. A character that wasn't written to be liked but that you love. So for this question I'm going to have to go with the glittering court and the character is Warren and he is kind of the villain-ish character in this book. If you haven't read it then I'm gonna try not give you too many spoilers but he is kind of like the villain character in this book and I spent most of this book actually really liking him. Not like liking him as a person just liking him as a character. I thought he was a really interesting villain and kind of like both really like I kind of like you and I kind of don't like you. I don't know my feelings about you. You're just really strange. <laughs> but I liked his character a lot and I liked reading his character and his villain was great and yes I just love this book so much. <laughs> The third question is coffee shop soundtrack and that is a book that you read when you were younger but now you realize wasn't as good as you once thought it was. For this question I'm going to go with Poser by Rachel Maud and I read this back in like maybe middle school maybe freshman year of high school and this is when I was really into these kind of books about like fashion and style and you know elite stuff. <laughs> you know I was kind of reading Gossip Girl so I was really into like this sort of genre of book and um, I've read it recently and it's not as good as I thought it was you know I really 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 like this book I read it I think twice in high school <laughs> and now that I'm older I'm just kind of like meh but it's really cool because they have these really cool like style things that like show you how to make like the styles of the characters so like these are just like two of the characters they have more of them in the back somewhere which is like really cool for a book to have but I'm just like not about this book anymore but this part is really cool. I thought that was like really cool as like a teenager like seeing that that was like oh interesting. The fourth question is good times your favorite squad and for this question I think I'm obviously going to choose Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I don't know a squad better than the squad in Six of Crows like show me them. Show me where they are and I might believe you. <laughs> but these characters are so great. It's Inej, Kaz, Nina, Matthias, Wylan, and Jesper. So that's six characters. I didn't have enough fingers on this hand. But they are such great characters and they oh they just like complement each other so well and they're like some of them are really good friends, some of them are kind of like bickering and I just love it. I love this group and in Crooked Kingdom it gets even freaking better. I am just like obsessed with Six of Crows if you haven't noticed you know maybe you have I don't know but on my channel I am very obsessed with Six of Crows. The fifth question is somewhere in Neverland and that is a book you loved in your childhood. So for this question I chose Aquamarine by Alice Hoffman and this is the movie cover of the book and it has Emma Roberts, Sarah Paxton, and Jojo who is the singer person. <laughs> and this book is like really really good. If you like the movie you're going to really like the book. It's very different from the movie <laughs> but I absolutely loved this book as a kid and it is so short. Like look at that. It is really really short and I used to just read it all the time and it was one of my favorites. Definitely up on the top of my list of favorites as a kid 
then that's up there with like Ella Enchanted and uh, the Trumpet of the Swan and Charlotte's Web. So this is just one of my favorite children's books that I read as a kid. And if you love mermaids, then like read Aquamarine. It's gonna take you like an hour. <laughs> The sixth question is Edge of Tonight, and that is a couple that balances each other out really well. For this question, I chose a shopaholic book, and this is Shopaholic Ties the Knot by Sophie Kinsella, and I absolutely love the couple in this book. And if you didn't know the couple in this book, it's Becky and Luke, and they are just so amazing, and they balance each other out so well. Like, Becky is this shopaholic, and she's, like, kind of obsessed with shopping, and Luke is this finance guy and very serious and Becky's like all over the place and super bubbly and they are just so so cute together if you haven't seen the movie at least watch the movie <laughs> I was like what are you doing I love confessions of a shopaholic but I also love the books I've read almost all of them <laughs> and they are just amazing and I love Becky and I love Luke and they just work so 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 well together question seven is remembering Sunday a book with an unexpected ending so for this question I'm going to choose PS I still love Love you by Jenny Han and I guess the ending wasn't exactly unexpected but it definitely wasn't the ending that I wanted <laughs> so spoilers if you haven't read this book yet then maybe you should like skip ahead to the next question basically I didn't really like Peter K in this book I don't think a lot of people liked Peter K in this book he kind of let me down a little bit and I definitely liked her other love interest I'm not gonna name his name you know but I'm just saying that Peter K let me down and the ending let me down even more because I kind of felt like it was just kind of a gimme like it was just kind of like everyone expects Laura Jean to end up with Peter K so she kind of has to end up with Peter K so she's just kind of gonna forgive him just whatever like it never happened like nothing ever happened and the final question number eight is Walls your favorite character arc and for this question, I chose Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella, and I love this book. And if you don't know what Finding Audrey is about, it is about a girl named Audrey, and she develops this anxiety disorder after a very unpleasant incident. And I just love the character of Audrey. I just found her... I found the representation of anxiety very true, at least for me. And I really liked the way that her character arc progressed throughout the book. I don't want to, you know, give away the entire book or anything, but it was very, very good. And I love this book so much. And I would definitely recommend you try it out and read it. And Sophie Kinsella is an amazing writer. <laughs> She's just absolutely so amazing. All right, so this was the All Time Low book tag, and thank you, Tasha, for creating this tag and for tagging me in it. That was so nice of you, and I love All Time Low, so I'm just, like, so thankful that you made this tag. Like, it is so cool. And I tag everyone else to make this in a video or a blog post or even down below in the comments. You can totally do that. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!